Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Hall from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. You're listening to The Razor's Edge. Uh, my name is Matt, and I am here with Bill Steer from Carcass at Bloodsuck. How are you doing? Doing all right. How about you? I'm not too bad. It's the uh, final day of a, a long weekend, but I've had some. Uh, what about yourself? You've uh, yeah. been busy lately. Yeah, festivals. we've been doing a load of festivals. Um, got here a couple of hours before we played. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was nice. That's good to hear. Is there any that really stand out when you're doing the long runs abroad and that kind of thing? Um, yeah, some stuff does stand out. I mean, this would stand out anyway because it wasn't a disaster. We were so nervous about it. Right, okay. So, we're grateful. Like, maybe it wasn't a great show, but it was a gig. And nothing went wrong. Really, simply wrong. No, it was tight and uh, the crowd were really good. So, um, you've also got the Headbangers boat later this year, which is quite quite fun to be fair. Sorry, uh, the Headbangers boat later uh, in the year. That looks um, oh, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. Wow. I've not even thought about that. <laughs> Fuck. <It's awesome. laughs> I guess you've had the um, the Australian and Japanese and Latin, Latin American shows as well. Like it's been a very productive year for Carcass, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean uh, that seven week thing that you referred to was insane because you're going from like Australia, New Zealand, Japan. South America, Central America, it was the most exhausting, brutalizing thing we've ever done. Um, it was amazing, it was so good to do. But there were times where we all lost the plot, and we just like, yeah, I just ugh, can't deal with it. Of course, fair enough. What do you like to do when you're off tour and relaxing at home? Oh, that's easy, just like uh, go to the pub, listen to records, yeah. walk my dog. You know, just, just be a normal person. What about you? I like to, um, I just do the same really. I like seeing friends and uh, listen to music and play the guitar and that kind of thing. That's, yeah. the, right, that's the right stuff. It you know, makes you feel good. Keep yourself busy. You know. um, I understand that you're, uh, you've got a love of the blues as well as playing extreme metal with Carcass. Absolutely. How do, has that always been a part of your life or did it come a little later? Oh no, it's definitely later. Because yeah. like, if you look at like early 90s Carcass, you know. Yeah. Um, but at some point, I, I sort of realised, I can't remember how, but I, I remember being alert to the fact that Albert King yeah. tuned very low. Well, that's interesting, because we tuned really low. Um, so that was my introduction to the blues. Yeah. And then after that, it was really more like when we broke up. Because my I was so into Johnny Winter and, and Cream. Yeah. Those were my two main things. And um, I sort of went that way. So you, you had to explore their influences, you know. That's sort of how I got to that point in playing that way. Uh, I guess the low tunes would come from like bending the strings and um, doing those interesting licks that, you know, you don't get in other styles of guitar music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's all music. That's why I, I would always say everything is music. You know, it's not good to be too strict about it. Sure. Because, like, there's some metal music that's soulless, and there's some pop music that's got soul. You know, so I think you just take it on a case by case basis. Maybe I'm talking shite. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you've been um, you've been a constant member of Carcass since um, since the first shows. Do you remember what the very first Carcass gig was like? And uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Actually, um, it was very awkward. Yeah, very awkward. Um, yeah, it was Planet X, which was a venue in Liverpool. And um, back then, Carcass, we thought we were a death metal band, but like we only could play with hardcore bands because there's no death metal band, so especially in the north. So we're like, we do that. And um, yeah, we went down like a sack of shit. Um, but you know, when you're 17, you're just resilient. Well, that wasn't good, but like, let's just do another one. Yeah, sure. When you're older, you you know, 
personal. Um, I saw um, uh, the next year's your 40th anniversary of being in Carcass, I think 1985, according to yeah, Wikipedia. Sort of, yeah, would, would you, could you have any special plans for um, 2025 to commemorate that? Wow. I'm not sure. I mean, everyone knows Jeff. Jeff is the boss of this man. Like, he's the manager from. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Perhaps. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I just want to thank you for your time. Um, but lastly, uh, are there any standout shows that you've had on the road this year that have really, really stood out across the Wow, yesterday? that's tricky. <laughs> I mean, what, what would make a standout show at this point? Well, I'd say it, it's, it's, it's lazy, but I would say Argentina and Chile, because they were just, like, everyone knows Argentina is the biggest, it's the biggest metal crowd ever, they're so heartfelt. Yeah. Um, we, had a, we didn't have a good day, it was just stressful. I was like, what's this going to be? The second we started playing, people were going nuts, like, to a level you want to see in the UK. Yeah. And then Chile, I mean, they were going around with flares and stuff. I mean, not these flares, like, you know, literally just. Yeah. Um, it was fucking insane. Um, I think it, it reminds you of how much music means to people. Yeah. It's the greatest gift, I suppose, yeah. Thank you, Bill. Thanks Thank for, uh, Thank for taking me anytime. <laughs> this has been Carcass at Bloodstock. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.theraziesedge.rocks.